on breast health and breast cancer screening, and women were able to sign up for a mammogram in their local community right on the bus. And I'd really like to say a special thanks to all of you who came out and met us in your communities and participated in, in the Pink Tour. It was an extre extremely successful program. We had over 35,000 people through the bus over the course of the summer, and we were able to visit over 100 communities. And of course, special thanks to, to Shoppers Drug Mart and CIBC, who made the tour possible through their generous funding and also provided us well-needed parking lots uh, a lot across the province. Uh, we'll be back again this summer, and so if you'd like to get involved, by all means, uh, let us know, and we'd love to have you involved as we tour around. Incredible generosity from the community in support of this. Portis had recorded that um, music that you heard, donated it free of charge. Um, all of the talent that you see, none of those women were actors. Many of them were doing what they were doing for the very first time. So it's been a, a real labor of love for the from the community as well. And we're also uh, pleased to share with you that the Public Health Agency of Canada uh, was so uh, enthusiastic about the work that we're doing in this area that they've just given us, just as of this week, a $500,000 grant towards the campaign. brochures on, um, on the table and those are the brochures that you'll also see in doctor's offices across the country. So for those of you who hosted events, participated in the Run for the Cure, provided your expertise on research panels and on committees, made thousands of pink ribbons uh, for us, organized employee events and, and so on, thank you so, so much for making our work possible and together we, we really are making a difference. It's now my pleasure to uh, introduce today's MC. Beth Thompson is our honorary chair and co-host of Canada AM. She's not only been one of Canada's most respected and best loved media personalities, but she is a dedicated humanitarian and also a breast cancer survivor who inspires Canadians from coast to coast. Beth has served as honorary chair of the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation since 2003 and continues to support our work in a wide variety of valuable ways year after year. Ladies and gentlemen, a delight on and off camera, Beverly Thompson. Thank you so much, Sandra, and uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's not only a pleasure and an honor, but I'm so excited to be a part of this afternoon's festivities. There are so many great inspirational stories. It is great to see such a huge room, so many wearing pink, some of the ladies too, <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> Dr. Singh, this pink shirt on. Um, to look back at the year and, and to see all the things that you've done, the exciting announcements um, that Santa was just talking about, it is incredibly inspirational. I was diagnosed in 2002 and after concentrating on treatment, when that part was done, I wanted to know more. I think a lot of cancer survivors feel the same way. I just needed to know more. Add to that a journalistic hat and I knew I needed to get involved. And, and that's where the partnership with the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation began. And it has been a wonderful, exciting, and positive journey, I think, for all of us to see where this um, foundation came from. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, where it is, and I think more importantly, where it's going. It is so nice to see so many of us here to celebrate all of that here this afternoon. Despite the fact that there were a few things going on in the city, I don't know if any of you had trouble getting here. <laughs> or parking for that matter. It's, um, the irony is not really lost on me that here we are um, in the Royal York and Prince Philip is here, but we're the ones having high tea at the Royal York. <laughs> I think actually as a result of that, we get the better end of the bargain. Um, the amount of money that has been raised over the past year is a tribute to all of those um, who want to get involved, want to make a difference for the foundation. I think, you know, when I first started this, and the slogan that we used to talk about all the time was creating a future without breast cancer. People asked me then, and they still ask me to this day, do I really think that that's a possibility? It's not, I hope so. It is. 
It will happen. And it will happen because of the projects that all of you are doing on your own in the community, corporately, because of the research grants, um, the number of things that are going on, and most importantly, the belief that we will create that future together. It is such a great pleasure to be able to celebrate, because this truly is an afternoon of celebration, all of those things together. When you think about 25 years ago, when people didn't really talk about breast cancer anywhere near the way we do today, it was more or less whispered. So it's, you know, it's amazing to me when you look at the group of women that got together and said, we want to do something more. We, you know, so it was 1986, when this group of women got together um, to create what is now the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. The difference between what it was now and today is phenomenal, unbelievable, night and day, and that's because of the dedication of this group of women um, that are here to help us celebrate today. So this past year in the Ontario region with your strong support and commitment, we've raised a record, this makes me, I can, anyway, a record-breaking $22 million. 